after you've written f of x equals x squared. We're going to think about this parabola and also a family of functions similar to it. But before we do that, the thing we want to particularly int uh, be interested in is what is the derivative of this curve? We introduced calculus earlier in the year. We developed first principles and we learned a whole bunch of rules. And we want to think about this in a very visual way, which is actually calling back to one of the very first times I taught like, I'm going to say this class, even though there's like all, the, all these extra people since then, like all the way back in J block. Um, I gave you guys some paper and we graphed derivatives visually if that rings any bells whatsoever. Okay? And here's what I'd like you to help me recall. When we write a function in this notation, f of x, how would we normally write its derivative? Because we've got a, a bunch of ways to do it. So right, f, f dash x, very good. So on your keyboard, when you go type in f and find the, you know, that little apostrophe, right? You can pop in, oh, where is it on mine? Uh, there, no, hold on. Ooh, why am I not getting mine? That's a bit funny. Hold on a second, I think I'm going to have to type it like this. There we go. I beg your pardon, sorry. Uh, what parallel lines? Oh, okay, so this is the um, this is the dash I'm looking for. I'm sorry that it looks quite small. You can hardly see it on from where you're sitting to see there. But if you are um, on your keyboard, I think it's quite hard to dig up within the Desmos keyboard that's on the screen. So just hit the apostrophe. Where is it? It's like next to the next to it's it's below the quote marks, right, on your keyboard, right? So. When you type in f dash x, this is the reason why I asked you to label this as f of x, it just sort of automatically hands you the derivative, which is kind of nice, right? Does that match with what you expected, by the way? Yeah. We sh hopefully by now know that the derivative of, sorry, the derivative of x squared is, can you tell me the function? It's 2x, because you take that power down, reduce the power by 1, and have a look at the blue graph. Does that look like 2x to you? It should, right? Like one unit across two units up, one, two, etc. Okay, very good. Now, uh, what I'd like us to do is up here with our original function, let's, uh, let's play around with it for a second. I'd like us to add on, so press plus, and then go back to that alphabetical keyboard or just use your normal keyboard, and um, pick a letter, I'm gonna pick C for constant. Um, as you're familiar with when you hand it a pro numeral that's not X or Y and that kind of thing, it says, hey, do you wanna add a slider so you can muck around with that, and we do. So I'm gonna add that slider in. And um, if you want, you can be very lazy and you can just hit play. Now, you can see what effect does that have on our parabola? This is doing what? The parabola. It's going up and, down. up and down. We would call this translation. There's a shift, a vertical shift. But importantly, I want to ask, what's happening to the derivative? It remains stagnant. It's not going anywhere, is it? Because... Our derivative, right? Our derivative, it just depends on how steep or how shallow it is. And when you change the position, the steepness or shallowness stays the same. Do you agree with that? Everything's fine. Okay, good. Um, hit pause so that's not so distracting. Let's just leave that somewhere in the middle. Okay, very good. Now I do want us to change things. So go up here back into the original function. Instead of changing that plus c, um, go up into the index, into the power, right? Um, carefully subtract that. Your function disappears because it's waiting for you to put a number in. And um, I'm going to let you choose a number at this point. You can choose whatever number you like, but I'm going to put in, just for the sake of simplicity, 3. So there's my x cubed graph. Um, it's a little bit raised up, you can see, because of my plus c. Uh, what is our blue graph? What does that look like? That's a parabola. It's not just any parabola. You can probably tell me exactly what parabola it is because you know how to differentiate this, right? You've got rules for it. What's the derivative of x cubed? It's 3x squared. Very good. Uh, and you can, by the way, you can check that if you like. Um, if your graph looks just like mine, if you go ahead and you put in 3x squared, lo and behold, it matches up. My purple graph matches up exactly with my blue graph. So we can confirm that. That's very good. And like I said, you can make that power whatever you like. I don't know if you put in 3 like I did, but you could put in 4. Right? Uh, it's kind of like a parabola that needs to uh, lose a bit of weight because it seems fat at the bottom. And you've got its derivative, which in this case would be 4x cubed. Okay, so far so good. So what are we looking at at the moment? We've been understanding these derivatives and thinking about what they do in terms of just visually, right? Quick question, by the way, just looking at this one that's on the screen. This is our original function, the red one. Okay, can we make sense of why this blue graph is what it is? When the 
derivative is down here, it's negative, what does that tell you about the original graph when the derivative is negative? What does that tell you? It tells you, what do you see, Shane? That's like the gradient is negative. The gradient is negative, very good. The derivative function, it tells you gradient, right? In fact, that's why we call it the gradient function also. And that's why you can see it's dropping like a rock. You see it's got a decreasing sort of gradient at this point, right? Um, what about this spot right here? What's that spot? We have a name for this kind of spot. What's it called? We call it a stationary point. It's like the graph's not going down, it's not going up, it's just staying flat. And you can tell me at that spot, look at the blue graph, what's the derivative at this spot? It's the blue graph is on zero. The derivative is not going up, it's not going down. And then you can see as I go to the right, it's increasing. Okay.